are able, please kneel. If not able, please be seated. gathering of your holy church this day, born of the Virgin Mary, nailed to the cross, and risen from the dead, we acknowledge and firmly proclaim this day, O Lord, that what we see before us is not bread, but truly you, body and blood, soul and divinity, truly present with us in this most blessed sacrament of the altar, the Holy Eucharist. We worship you as the one true God, the maker of all things, the only Savior and Lord, the only hope of the human family, and the one only way to salvation. You are the judge of all nations. We rejoice in your presence. We long for your coming, and we proclaim your day, your name this day, Jesus Christ is Lord. And we profess all of these truths through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 For this short meditation now, feel free to be seated. Regarding the very substance of a thing. The very substance of a thing. The category of substance does not admit of degrees. A given substance is either fully what it is, for example, a man, a horse, a dog, or it is not that thing at all. It cannot be half man, half horse, half dog. In fact, this truth about substance is the very basis of the pro-life position. 
Either the embryo is human or not human. And if human, it has the same dignity and deserves the same honor and respect of any human regardless of what its characteristics might be, such as size, shape, color, or weight. Similarly, because the substance of Jesus Christ is present in the most blessed sacrament, and substance, again, does not admit of degrees, the essential reality of our Lord is there, neither more nor less real than it was for his twelve apostles in first century Palestine when he walked the earth in human form, although now he is truly present as he was to his apostles in sacramental form now. Although his characteristics do not appear to us as his apostles saw him, and instead we see, taste, smell, and touch those of bread. The very same person, in his full divinity and full humanity, is present in our midst, under the sacramental veil. Because again, substance by its very nature does not admit of degrees. The thing is either fully present, or it is not. St. Ambrose says this, This indeed is the true flesh of Christ, which was crucified and buried and rose for you. This is then in truth the sacrament of that same Christ's flesh. The Lord Jesus himself declares, This is my body at the Last Supper. This is my blood. Before the blessing or consecration contained in these words, a different thing is named, namely bread. But after the blessing, a body is indicated. He himself also speaks of his blood. <clears throat> Before the consecration, something else is spoken of, namely wine. But after consecration, in the words of blessing, blood is now designated. This is my body, this is my blood. And so we say, Amen. That is Hebrew for, so be it, or yes, it is true. Amen. Amen. So what the mouth utters, let the mind within acknowledge, and what the word says, let the heart ratify in truth. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. I ask you now for the remaining 30 to 40 minutes or so of adoration to make yourself comfortable, feel free to kneel. Feel free to sit. Feel free to stand. I believe we also have confession going on during this hour. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment God. Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
let us now sing together the Tantum Ergo. benediction for. And we ask all these good things through Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us remember, gentlemen, the profound symbolism behind the use of the humeral veil, which is currently draped over the celebrant's shoulders and which he will use to wrap around the stem of the monstrance which holds the Eucharist, precisely so that the celebrant does not touch the monstrance during the benediction. This is symbolic of the truth that it is not the celebrant priest who gives the benediction, but rather our Lord Jesus Christ himself gives the benediction, that is, the blessing over the people, as he himself is really, truly, and substantially present in the Eucharist in his body, blood, soul, and divinity, just as he was to his apostles in walking human form in first century Palestine. And now, substantially, in substance, he is present in the same exact way, only the characteristics have changed and are now in sacramental form. But his body, blood, soul, and divinity are truly present in the Eucharist, and so he himself gives the benediction over the people, not the priest. So it is then that the use of the humeral veil shows forth symbolically the priest celebrant's separation from this act of benediction.
together in unison. If we could have them on the screen, please. Together in unison, the divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His holy sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament to the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, the Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and in his saints. May the heart of Jesus, in the most blessed sacrament of the altar, be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment, in all the tabernacles throughout the world, even until the very day of the second coming of Christ. We ask this through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. We could please have holy God we praise thy name on the screen. Two verses. Holy God. 